Hello, everyone, and welcome to another episode of Madden 21 Franchise Mode. This is week one of the actual season. We're finally going to get started on the real season. We're playing the Los Angeles Rams in week one. So it says here, set our Neither season goals. Season so let's goal see what that is. Higher higher rewards, but also higher see, passing yards. So I guess I can choose a bunch of different categories. And then a bunch of different. Thirty-five, forty-five hundred, two thousand. Let's be aggressive. Let's do forty-five hundred passing yards. We got passing yards and passing touchdowns. I want yards. Forty-five hundred passing yards. That'll be give us a thousand experience if we actually get it. So, yeah, let's do that. That looks good to me. It's a little bit aggressive, but I think I can pull it off. We are going to simulate our training. Because it did not go well the one time we actually played it. Our players completely disappeared. Alright, so we can upgrade our guy now. We can do Field General, Strong Arm, Improviser, or Scrambler. Yeah, we're going to go with Field General. Gives us plus three awareness and plus one uh, throw accuracy for deep passes. We have one more, so let's go ahead and do Strong Arm as well. That will give us plus one awareness, throw accuracy deep plus one, and throw accuracy mid plus one. So we'll definitely take that. We are an 84 overall now, which is awesome. Now it's... Time to play. We will be playing offense only, as always. And we are playing the Rams, which are an 80 overall, so. Tonight, but I don't think the, the overall rating means a whole lot, honestly. Because I played the Chiefs, who are supposed to be the best team, and I just absolutely stomped their ass. And then I played the Texans, who are not that well rated, and they put up a hell of a fight. That was a really close game. All right, 342 left in the first quarter. The score is 0-0, zero to zero, and we have the ball on our own 14. See, we got two runs to the outside. Well, one to the outside, one to the kind of middle, and we got that weird angle smash play which I almost never run. So we're going to go ahead and try it. We got a completion, but we got a flag. I bet you it's that damn receiver one. Man downfield, isn't it? Every time. Too far downfield, something those linemen have to watch out for. That time it costs them. I don't want to turn any of the penalties off or anything because that's kind of cheating, but I mean, that's like the fourth or fifth time I've gotten that penalty, and there's absolutely nothing I can do about it. It just sucks. All right, so we're going to go and run our slants play. This is our old reliable that always works for me. We'll get our first down and start to move the chains. I love the slants, and I love the post patterns. My favorite pass plays almost always work for me. Takes a little bit of time for them to develop because I don't hit them right away. I let them cross over the, the defense and always get a first down on that. All right, we got a nice play action here, and we have a run to the outside and a run up the middle. So we are doing the play action. I'm going to try to hit probably the tight end. Whoa, I'm not hitting anybody but the ground. Damn, 95. He got in there like a rocket. I had like zero chance. I saw him coming and I tried to try to dump it off, but to no avail. I went down like a sack of potatoes. So now it is second and 18. Goodness gracious. So we are definitely going to have to 
pick it up here. I got this play called stick, and it's two slants. So I'm going to hit the receiver on the slant. I think that was my other tight end. And pick up the first down. So I came back from that sack, which is always a wonderful thing. It takes entirely too long to, to get rid of the ball in this game. You can throw it away, supposedly, but that has not worked for me at all. Now, our tight end here has a deep post pattern that is very nice. And if it develops properly, which it's not going to, so I'm going to go ahead and hit the crossing guy. He might have got open here in a little bit when he got further down the field, but the guy crossing over was wide open, so why not take it? X is my hot route here. But I'm going to hit my – oh, damn it. I was going to throw to my tight end, but I hit X instead. I didn't mean to hit X. I meant to hit the tight end, but I pushed the wrong button. That happens on occasion. All right, we're going back to slants. My X receiver is the one I'm looking at on this play if he's open. And he is. That should be a touchdown. Very nice. So that was a nice little drive. It wasn't just a one pass touchdown. There will be plenty of those, I'm sure, in the game because they always come, but it's kind of nice and refreshing to actually have a drive. Okay, it's 24 seconds left in the first quarter. We have a 7 0 lead because they did not score. Look at that awesome play action. X burst cross. That looks very cool. I want to see what that B receiver does. Off the play fake, he'll look to throw. And that's oh, I almost went out of bounds. That was so close. It's a pick up of six. Brings up second and four. See on these little dump offs to the to the running back like that, I love those passes. But the problem is he's so close to the sideline, you have to immediately press right to get him to not go out of bounds. And then he does this weird thing where he kind of cuts back. All right, so that is the end of the first quarter. We did not get that playoff. Probably because I was too busy talking. So we have a 7-0 lead at the end of one. Double post. Hell yeah. What's better than one post? two posts, right? X or Y, either one will be great on this play. But I'm going tight end because he had a step. Oh, get in there. Did I get it? I got it. I'm a big fan of throwing to the tight ends. It's Probably my favorite receivers. I mean, how can you not make that pass? I mean, he was he was open. Open and running towards the end zone. I'll take that over trying to throw it over a defender to my receiver any day. We got five minutes and 35 seconds left in the half, and we are up 14 to nothing. We got curls, which I hate. A run up the middle and a run off tackle. I picked the curls because I want to pass, but I do not like this play. I'm going to dump off to my running back. Oh, yeah. Damn it. I didn't make that spin. I managed to knock the first guy away, though. There's that X burst cross again. Last time I threw to my halfback, the X receiver is actually my hot receiver on this route, and the B receiver is running that weird funky route. But I'm going back to the halfback again a little bit earlier this time. I was hoping if I threw it to him earlier, he wouldn't do the whole out-of-bounds thing, which he did. But unfortunately, the defender was still pretty close. Tight end angle is our passing play here. 
and I think you know who I'm going to on this. My favorite target, the tight end. First down. I don't know that I like that pattern that much, though, honestly. He doesn't go that far, and he gets really close to running out of bounds. So here we have the slants again. We are going to throw over to our other tight end this time for the first down. And I know I can pick any play I want. I don't have to go with the coach suggestions. But it's just a lot quicker. That way I'm not scrolling through the playbook trying to find a good play and burning a lot of the game doing that. I would much rather just choose one of the suggestions and keep moving down the field. Now, if I absolutely hate all the plays or... Oh, yeah, that's a touchdown. Or if I'm getting nothing but runs because it's late in the game, I might go to one of the formations, probably I formation, that's my favorite, and start picking plays out of there. But simply for expediency's sake, I'm going with the suggestions. To take it in for the score. And how about the phases of a successful catch and a completion of a play? Look the that is another touchdown. The and then of course the run which happens. brings our score to 21 to nothing. And they still have not scored. So, now this so this is looking like a bit of a blowout already. It's not even halftime yet. We're up by three touchdowns. But I've got to get 4,500 passing yards, so I can't really lay off. i got to keep passing the ball. i got to keep moving down the field. Now, obviously, I don't have to get all 4,500 in this game, but I don't want to get to the point where it's late in the season and I'm desperate to try to complete passes to pick up enough yardage to reach that goal. So I figure if I pass a lot and I do well every game, the goal should pretty much be a gimme at that point. I'm going to go probably to my, oh, look at the tight end wide open. Oh, but he ran out of bounds. Damn it. Did I at least complete the pass or no? No, I did not. Well, that was disappointing. Double post, slot drive, or trail. I think we know I'm going double post. I love my post patterns. I'm going to hit the receiver deep here, or try to at least. Oh, damn, he took a shot. Hey, where's my flag? I don't get it, but I bet you you would have thrown one for a legal man downfield. Almost every game I get that. So we're going to go ahead and punt. I pretty much never punt, but what the hell. We will go ahead and punt. Oh, yeah. He had nowhere to go. I was on him as soon as he caught that ball. I don't mind playing defense but it's not very exciting to watch. And I don't really get to do much until the ball is in the air. So it's better just to play the offense, I think. It's more exciting, the game moves faster, the videos don't take as long. Look at that. That's a touchdown. That is, oh, he caught me. I had to slow down to wait for the ball. That was the problem there, I think. So it is 21 to 3. We have first and 10 on the 17 yard line of the Rams. And we're trying to punch it in here for a touchdown. That was not a good throw. Not a good throw at all. If he would have rocketed it in there when I first hit the button, it would have been nice, but it took way too long for the ball to get there. Here it is, touchdown. Twenty-seven to three now, with thirty-six seconds left to go in the half. So we are up by. 
Three touchdowns and a field goal. Pretty commanding lead. And unless I do something monumentally stupid, I would say that we have this game well in hand. Okay, seven seconds left. They got another field goal. So what do you say we kind of air one out and see if we can't put another one on the board real quick? Let's see what we're going to go with here. I want something that has a pattern that will get me down the field. This has two. Both tight ends are going long. And I have a receiver on the side, and he didn't even catch the ball. So that will be that. Heading into halftime now. As we are off to Orlando now to check in with Jonathan Coachman at our EA Sports halftime report. We are up 28 to 6. I have 287 passing yards so far. Halftime report. So I'm well on my way. What's going on around the NFL? We'll get started out at Arrowhead Stadium in Kansas City. And as you see, they were winners back on Thursday night. 31-27, the final score. From there, we'll make the trek east to Atlanta to check on the Falcons at home at Mercedes-Benz Stadium. And they were losers in that one as they fall to the visiting Seattle Seahawks. A two-touchdown victory, 31-17, the final. And lastly, we'll wrap up the week with Monday Night Football. Definitely one to tune in for, as it'll be the Pittsburgh Steelers and the New York Giants. Meanwhile, our game has been a boat race, very one-sided to this point. And for the call of the second half, let's get it back to our commentating team of Brandon Godden and Charles Davis. All right, Coach, thank you, and we welcome everyone back. All right, we're going to be kicking off. Three. I figure we'll if, if you average kind of 450 a yards a game in, in 10 half. games, this I will have the 4,500 I need. So I want to try to... I, to I want to try to get around 400 at least per game. That should give me a pretty good cushion so that if I have a game where I don't do so well, that I can still reach that goal. That's my plan at least. We'll see how it works out. I'm over halfway there in the first half, so that is good news. Well, the protection's been great. The protection's been, you're going. The objection's been phenomenal, but how about how it's been spotlighted? So let's see if we can rack up some more yards here. In the third quarter, we are going to go back to the suggestions, at least for a little while, and we're going to go with the Y curl play here. See how this does for us. I knew that was a bad throw as soon as I let it go. I was throwing into double coverage. That was dumb. I should have just dropped it off there. It's the B receiver who was going across the field. He wasn't but a couple yards out, but at least he was open. I could have ran for a little bit. But I got greedy and made a bad pass. I'm lucky that I didn't get an interception. So we're going to keep him honest here by running a sweep to the outside, pick up the first down with our halfback. I don't want them to guess pass on every single play because then they're going to be playing the pass, and I will not be as successful. So every once in a while, I'll throw in a run. But now we're doing our slants. Almost got sacked there. But I got the ball off and got the completion. First down. And I stopped the clock, which I don't really need to stop the clock because I'm winning, but what the hell of a catch. All right, gentlemen, we got curls or we have runs. Both runs are nice, though. I like that inside zone, and I like the halfback stretch as well. We're going to do the halfback stretch. We're going to run over here to the left side, though, because there's a little bit more field there. Oh, 
I thought I was by him. Alright, we got our slants back. These are shorter slants than our other slant play, though, but I'll take it. There it is. Touchdown. It's literally like playing catch when you run these slants. Because the receiver always has several yards on the defender. And it's a, just a matter of hitting him in stride, and he just keeps on going. I mean, that defender was way back. That was an easy touchdown. Okay, we got 35 to 6 now. Three minutes and 24 seconds left in the third. Their own 20 yard line. They start on the We're going to try to get a first down here with the halfback. Ooh, look at that play action. I'll tell you, the Cowboys playbook has some of the coolest play action plays. Wide open, and oh, I threw it high. That was on me. I still completed it and got the first down, but that should have been a touchdown if I'd have made a good throw. But I threw it too high. He had to go up for it. That enabled the defender to catch him. That could have been a touchdown if I'd have made a good throw. That's all right. I'm still a rookie. This is the first year. So you're bound to have that. At least he completed the pass. We're going to keep on passing. Go to our B guy here, and that should be a touchdown. Oh, you missed me, bud. Oh, did I screw that up? I screwed that up, didn't I? Ah, oh, damn it. I ran out of bounds at the one with plenty of room. There's no reason I had to run out of bounds there. I could have just ran straight, and that guy would have tackled me, but he would have tackled me into the end zone. That's okay. We'll run this in with the, the halfback here. Easy. It's pretty much a gimme most times on the one with the halfback. Just run it right up the middle, and the line will push the guys back, and you're in there. At some point, I'm going to try to run it in with my quarterback. I don't want to really quarterback sneak, but I'll pick a play and try to, like a passing play, and try to bootleg out to the side and, and get a touchdown that way. I'm a little wary of doing that because my quarterback is not a scrambler. He is a pocket passer. But one of the goals for the season is to get at least one rushing touchdown with the quarterback. So at some point, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to pull that one off. Look at that, will you? That was some amazing blocking. I mean, they didn't have a chance to get me until I was quite a ways down the road. I don't like that celebration. That, that is so silly. Yeah, you're talking about a defense being on their toes. They don't know what's going to hit them next. At this like, I guess the whole point of the celebration is you're supposed to be celebrating and you're supposed to look cool doing it. That's why you're doing a fancy thing like that. And that doesn't look cool at all. I don't know if that's what the dude does in real life, but if it is, he should not do that. I didn't go anywhere. Yeah, we've kind of reached that point in the game here where all we're getting is runs on the suggestions now. I'm not quite sure how many yards I have passing, but I'll run for a little bit. Oh, look at that move. Unfortunately, I juked myself right into three defenders, but I made the original one miss. That's all that counts to me. They've done a pretty good job containing him. All right, we got our quick slants back in our suggestion, so we're going to do that and try to get ourselves a passing touchdown here. There it is. 
Look at that. Easy cheesy. Nothing to it. So after the extra point, it will be 49 to 13. Turning into a really good performance on the But another road. passing Rico touchdown in the books. A little bit more yards win. towards it's our goal. To away from home, though, but they're looking strong. It certainly is. Any road win in the NFL. All right, we got three minutes and 46 seconds left in the we'll game. It is 49 to 13. And we have the ball on our own 29. They'll try to run some clock. Oh, how did I not get tackled there? That was a miracle. Ended up gaining two yards. And by all rights, I should have lost a couple on that play. I should have been tackled in the backfield, but somehow I managed to get away. Towards the end of the game here, I don't mind running some because I, I want my half back to have some stats too. Look at that. I love that play. The blocking is just fantastic on that play. That's that kind of sweep-like play to the outside. Every time, the blocking is superb. And I don't have to worry about anybody until I get to the secondary. She had a linebacker and looked like a cornerback to tackle me there. All of these are up the middle. Halfback zone weak is a little bit off the tackle there, but it's not directly up the middle. But it's still close enough to up the middle. But look at the hole it opened up, man. Wonderful. First down. We are moving the ball. Something to watch here in week one of the season, tackling. Because you and I both know that in the preseason, a lot of these guys don't play all Racking up some rushing yards for our tiny little serial eating running back. That's that little celebration he does. Looks like he's eating a bowl of cereal. I don't know if that's what it's supposed to be, or maybe he's eating soup. I don't know what he's eating. Whatever it is, it, it, it's coming from a bowl, and he's using a either a fork or a spoon, probably a spoon. I don't know why I'm reading that much into it. It doesn't really matter. On first down. Down to the Nothing on that one. Maybe a couple. Yeah, I got three. Second and seven now with just over two minutes left in the game. Oh, I hike the ball. That'll bring us to the two-minute warning. And we are inside two Sometimes, depending on the play you pick, it takes a while to hike it. You're pressing a button, and he's not doing anything. So we got third and four here on the 23-yard line. And let's see what they've come up with offensively after having time to talk it over. Tight end in motion. On third down, Elliott. Oh, I messed that up. That's all right. I still got the first down. And he picks up the first down yardage as he takes it down to the 16. I missed the hole completely. I didn't see it. I didn't see where the hell it was, so I kind of bounced it to the outside. And that did not work out very well at all in the beginning. I thought I was going to get tackled, but I ended up getting the first down, so that works. All right, we got this passing play here. We're going to try that. I'd like to hit the tight end. But I might go to the running back. We'll see. Come on, dude. That was right in your damn hands. Right, we can either run to the outside or we can do our curls play. Or run the inside zone play. I'm going to do the curls simply because I want the passing yards. But I don't like this play a whole lot. We'll just hit our big old tight end. Pick up a couple. Four yards the gain, and it'll bring up a third That will make it third and six yeah, on the 12. They didn't get a whole lot on that play, but it's nice to have a safety valve that's built like this guy. Big target, guy you can spot pretty easily. Put it on him when your other targets aren't open. I'm tempted. So it's third and six. Run this screen. I really like screens. He'll look to throw. Oh, got trouble. First down. Did I get it? 
pretty sure I got it. Right, yep, first and goal. All right, we got under goal. a minute, so we got to hustle. Get back up on that line and let's go. Run this one in. I'm running to the outside here. And that is an easy touchdown. I can do the nasty plunge on that. There was just nobody there. This thing is ugly. He reached some kind of goal. I don't want to look between his legs, dude. Come on now, cameraman. What the hell's wrong with you? Until it's over? Because this certainly feels like it's over after that drive. Yeah, that was spirit crushing, wasn't it? And now you can, you just kind of felt the air go out of the balloon. Yeah, they were fighting so hard to stay in there, and they knew they had to stop him on that drive. But when they were unable to... I like all the little jumps and stuff as they go into the end zone. I like that better than the celebration afterwards. This one will end in a victory for the Dallas I believe that is the end of the game. Journey begins, Charles. Week one in the book. This one was not even season. close. Oh, man. So much to look forward to. They just did not have a chance in hell. From the very first play, I was just running it down on them, and there was just nothing they could do. They didn't even get close to stopping me. The one drive I had to punt, but that was because I believe, if I remember correctly, a penalty. And some bad throws. But I ended up with 438 passing yards that game. So I'm over the 400 that I wanted to get, but under the 450. So I'll take it. That's good. Ended up with 446 total passing yards, it looks like, and six TVs. Our fantasy goals, game day goals, all that kind of stuff looks good, 100%. I like to see that. Season goals, we're 22% of the way to 2,000 passing yards. And the milestone goals, we've got a long way to go. See, one of those is one rushing TD. See that? I'm going to get that before the end of the season. That should be doable. If I get one of those down there that's like on the one or the two-yard line, I should be able to, to kind of sneak out and run it in. But that is the end of this video. If you enjoyed it, please hit the like button and subscribe and all that kind of stuff. And I will see you on the next one. Next week, we're playing the Falcons. So that should be fun. Till I speak to you again. Love many, trust few, and do harm to none. God loves you, and so do I. Bye-bye.